Do you know what Elon Musk's views were on hydrogen-fueled car? I don't want to turn this into a debate on hydrogen fuel cells because I, I just think that they're extremely silly. Um, the, it, it's just very difficult to, to make hydrogen and store it and use it in a car. Um, it, it, uh, hydrogen is an energy storage mechanism. It's not a source of energy. Um, so you have to get that hydrogen from somewhere. If you get that hydrogen from, from water, so you're splitting uh, H2O, uh, the, the electrolysis is extremely inefficient as an energy process. In response to that, Neeton Gudkari, Indian Minister of Road Transport and Highways, used a hydrogen-powered car to visit Indian Parliament. Have a look. It's powered by hydrogen, as you can see. Tell us about this vehicle, sir. This is the first vehicle in the country which is on hydrogen. There are three types of hydrogen. One is petroleum hydrogen that is coming from petroleum. Other is black hydrogen that is coming from coal. So brown hydrogen is from petroleum. And this is the uh, green hydrogen is from water and from organic waste, we can get methane and methane with organic hydrogen. So I am, this is the first car. The name of the car is uh, Mirai. Mirai. We shall talk about this intellectual feud at the latter part of the video. So stick till the end. India's automotive industry is at the cusp of a transformation, with hydrogen fuel technology emerging as a promising avenue for sustainable transportation. The development of such cars in India, though in its infancy, signals a significant shift towards reducing carbon emissions and enhancing energy security. We shall explore the progress, government initiatives, collaborations, and challenges in India's journey towards embracing hydrogen-fueled vehicles. India's exploration of hydrogen fuel cell technology dates back to the early 2000s, with giants like Tata Motors and Mahindra and Mahindra spearheading experimental projects and prototypes. These efforts mark the initial steps in understanding and leveraging hydrogen's potential as an alternative fuel source for vehicles, highlighting the industry's commitment to innovation and sustainability. Before looking into the role of Indian government in the matter, make sure to subscribe the channel to never miss any science or tech update. Moving on, a pivotal moment in India's hydrogen journey came with the launch of the National Hydrogen Energy Mission, NHM, in 2021. Aimed at promoting the adoption of hydrogen-based technologies, this underscores the government's resolve to transition towards cleaner energy sources. By focusing on the development and deployment of hydrogen technologies in transportation and other sectors, it serves as a cornerstone for India's green energy aspirations. As the old quote correctly states, teamwork makes dreams work. It's true for hydrogen-fueled cars as well. Notable collaborations between automotive companies and research institutions have led to significant milestones in hydrogen vehicle technology. Tata Motors, in partnership with the Indian Oil Corporation, unveiled a hydrogen fuel cell-powered bus, showcasing the feasibility of hydrogen in public transportation. Similarly, Ashok Leyland's heavy-duty trucks equipped with hydrogen internal combustion engine technology presented at the Auto Expo Illustrate the advancements in hydrogen. Presenting fuel Ashok Leyland's pioneering technology, the hydrogen internal combustion engine vehicle that's built on the Avatar modular platform. The fuel delivery system on this vehicle is modified to use green hydrogen instead of diesel. A strong carbon fiber composite cylinder ensures safe storage and high pressure endurance of up to 350 bar. That's extremely easy to install, lightweight, and maintenance free. With minor changes to our H-Series six-cylinder internal combustion engine, we are able to deliver power and torque equivalent to a conventional engine. With a lean combustion strategy, it ensures minimal emissions and less noise, resulting in an efficient, cleaner, and a quiet drive. Furthermore, the successful trials of India's first hydrogen fuel cell prototype car by the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research and KPIT emphasize the practical applications and advantages of hydrogen technology, particularly for commercial vehicles. Well, it's not a bed of roses and research is always a long grind through a tunnel that you're digging for humanity. There is often no sign of light and one has to toil through that. Same is true for Indian research. Despite these advancements, the path to widespread adoption of hydrogen-fueled cars in India is laden with hurdles. The high costs associated with fuel cell technology, coupled with the need for extensive infrastructure development, pose significant challenges. 
The establishment of hydrogen refueling stations, along with addressing safety concerns related to hydrogen's flammability, are critical issues that need resolution. Moreover, the environmental sustainability of hydrogen production, particularly the push towards green hydrogen, remains a focal point in ensuring that hydrogen vehicles contribute positively to India's environmental goals. Now, let's look into the hot topic of Elon Musk versus Neaton Goodkari. Just like the Joker said, This is what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. The global debate on the viability of hydrogen fuel cells in cars, marked by contrasting views from influential figures like Elon Musk and Indian Union Minister Neaton Goodkari, underscores the diversity of thought in the sustainable transportation sector. While Musk criticizes hydrogen fuel cells for their efficiency and practicality issues, Gudkari's support for hydrogen technology in India reflects a belief in its potential to complement electric vehicles in achieving environmental and energy goals. This debate highlights the multifaceted nature of the transition to sustainable transportation, acknowledging the role of various technologies in shaping the future of mobility. To counter Gudkari's approach, Elon has taken some steps to keep Tesla afloat in the research race for new tech. Check this video out to know what caused him to make that move.